Today I want to talk about decisions. Uh, we all make them countless times every single day. Some of them more consciously, like, what should I wear to this event? I think I nailed it, don't you? But most of the time we make them instinctively without even thinking about it. And when we're driving, we're required to make thousands of these decisions. Who's behind me? Should I brake now? Should I ease into it? Do I swerve this way? Do I swerve that way? And we mess up because we're all victim to that one horrible thing called human error because we're human. But autonomous vehicles aren't human and therefore they don't make mistakes like one. Sometimes we're too tired or we drink too much or we're distracted. We're ordering pizza or tacos. I, I want tacos. We expect much more from our autonomous vehicle than we do from ourselves. So how do we strive to get to this level of safety? Well, it has to do with something called redundancy, which is the idea of using independent systems to solve the same problem to increase reliability. And at Mobileye, we have made redundancy a cornerstone of our safety architecture across hardware, software, and AI processes. Mobileye systems are designed to remain resilient, adaptable, and responsive to a range of potential hazards. For example, Mobileye system is designed with two compute boards, ensuring that if one fails or overheats, the vehicle can still take a minimum risk maneuver, an MRM, by relying on the remaining board to safely pull the vehicle over to the shoulder. And since redundancy is kind of our thing, I have prepared a second example just to be safe. See what I did there? Let's talk about sensor redundancy. Although Mobileye is a camera-centric company, Mobileye's imaging radar is designed to help fill in the gap where cameras have limited visibility, such as in extreme fog or low sun. The imaging radar system provides detailed object detection capabilities and robust depth perception, even in challenging visibility. We also have more than one way to make an AV map and many internal redundancies in our algorithms. But this focus on redundancy isn't just about adding more systems to perform the same functions in case one fails. A critical element of redundancy is the integration of fusion strategies, finding the best way to combine outputs from multiple systems effectively. Now, a common approach when using three subsystems is to use what's called a majority vote. If two out of the three subsystems say to break, then we break, which sounds simple. But what about if the decision isn't a binary one? What if it's not just about braking or not braking? What if it's about steering to the left or steering to the right or staying straight in your lane? Now, each system is saying something different and the majority vote no longer applies. So our assumption here is that one of the systems is having a failure if all three disagree. But now we have a problem because we don't know which one is failing and which system to listen to. So for these cases, we came up with a novel fusion approach we like to call PGF, which stands for primary, guardian, and fallback. The primary and fallback systems provide independent outputs, and the guardian is a discriminative network whose goal it is to determine whether the primary system is valid or not. Any questions? Just kidding. I know this isn't the easiest topic to grasp, and everything might not be crystal clear, but if there is one important thing that I want you all to take away from this session is that at Mobileye, safety is our top priority. Every mile driven, every decision made, every innovation we develop, we at Mobileye are working to make your ride as safe as it is seamless. By combining engineering redundancies with thoughtful offline training, Mobileye is always looking for that next potential issue so that you don't have to think about it.